Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Muse is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he has it on the corner. He finally goes down at the 47. you got to love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. Tackle made on the 46-yard line. the 46 yard line second down got some open field and they finally knock him out at the 19 and that was an outstanding run by that young man Brad you're exactly right the ball carrier is able to break through the secondary without much resistance at all From the 17 yard line. It's second down. Three down, three down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Davies gets the call again. Tackled after decent pickup. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's head to the farm in Palo Alto. No one gave this team a chance, and now this team has proven them all wrong. A major upset is finished. And for Powell, look at what he did pitching the magic bean. More than 300 yards. The Hokies get the W. 31-14 elsewhere. The Rebels were ranked 24th. Now the loss is likely to knock them out of the polls. There's been an upset. And for Johnson, he powered his way into the end zone for two touchdowns. The Gamecocks take it by six. And for Oregon, they've got an opportunity to continue to gain position in the polls if they win this one. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Oregon ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Johnson's ability to throw the football has got everybody talking. Whenever he decides to turn pro, he might be a very good one, Kirk. Brad, every quarterback at any level, the two things you have to see from him is decision-making and accuracy. And not only does he have decision-making and accuracy, he also has a really strong arm. And when you combine all those things together, it's no wonder that the people up at the next level are already taking a good, hard look at him. It's second and five here. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he throws it away. Up the middle for a nice game. That was a nice run on third down. Getting up field and picking up the first. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 35. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Down for a loss. 
The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. And here's another third down. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Holmes, back to return it. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Oregon up seven points. But the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. On the ground with a tailback. And down he goes at the 39. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. it off. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. The running back goes for a short gain, but it's enough to get the first down. Smart run. Maybe it won't look great on the stat sheet, but getting the first is what matters. Quick pass. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. From the 32-yard line, second down. He's at the 20, inside the 10, and he will score. simply sensational running and it shows you what kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game and he tacks on the extra point so that's a six play 64 yard drive and they come away with seven points Brad, i thought that was a textbook drive i thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run and the pass just an overall well-executed touchdown game. So the score now, 14-0. The Ducks really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions in college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. Almost intercepted. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Quick pitch, and he goes nowhere. Sims awaits the snap. Knocked out of bounds. 
around the 48-yard line. Oregon's offense right now, I think all you can call is scary. Well, they can attack you in so many different ways. They have a quarterback right now that's getting the ball out of his hands and making great decisions, and they have playmakers all over the field. This offense is tough to stop. So at the end of one, Oregon leads 14-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They'll wrestle them down in the backfield. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 49. handoff room around the corner good outside run there Davies gains about four yards on the play They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Heading for the corner. He's out to the 30 tackle around the 38 yard line when you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that you've got something working from their own 38 yard line first down now he's scrambling and he's sacked Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 36-yard line. They run it left. And he's tackled on the 36-yard line. Quick throw, and they make the stop at the 46. Is back awaiting the punt. Brought down at the 20 yard line. Oregon's offense came out of the gate like gangbusters, but they have slowed things down now. I just don't sense the same energy from this team that we saw early in the game when they just came out. They were ready, they were excited. Seems that they've kind of let their foot off the accelerator. And now they're opening up an opportunity for this team to get back into this game and maybe take the lead. Now he's got room to run. He's brought down in the open field. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. There he goes. He's tackled at the 36. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. They go with a run. Brought down at the 45. That brings up second and one. 
It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Three down, three down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. And he's taken down at the 42. The option can be really tough to defend, but that time it was well played by the defense. yard line. Number 43 makes the tackle up at the 35 yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Well, these guys lost a lot of talent to graduation last year, and they've got to put some new faces in there. And this guy looks like he's the real thing, and he can help in that area. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Scrambling around. And down he goes around the 28-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 14-0, Oregon. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Ducks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. of two by the halfback. That is a textbook tackle right there. He leveled his shoulders and just put his whole body weight behind that one. Great hit. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down at about the 25-yard line. Nice 
gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Sims is the punter. Holmes takes it to 36, and he's taken down at the 40-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. yards away here on second down. Here's the give. Makes it out to about the 39. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates chances in the play-action passing game. First and ten, ball on the 39-yard line. Counter play. Runs it right, nice pickup. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it to make a catch. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. That'll bring him down at the 12-yard line. Quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Oregon looking to make this a three-score game. can pick his way so well through defenses. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 59-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Rushing as the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He really got a hold of that kick. Goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for the game. Seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's scrambling. Tackle at the 37. You can't design these kind of plays. You really can't, Brad. That was just great instincts to know where the sticks were.
He delivers. They can't connect. Incomplete. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now, remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. Gets it on the pitch. He steps out right around the 46-yard line. Second and five. Ball on the 46-yard line. tries to buy some time and he's tackled around the 35 yard line that makes it first and ten. two tights two tights three down three down Mike's 50 Mike's 50 <laughs> run down after a nice run up the middle They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. First down. This is the ninth play of this drive. The 17. Dollar on the tackle at the 17 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. From the 17 yard line. Second down. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Heading for the corner. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. It's the 11th play of the drive. And he gets a yard on the run. So with one quarter remaining, Oregon leads 21-0. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. They'll get him for a loss. This is the 13th play of this drive. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He goes out of bounds. Around the two-yard line. So the offense is going for it. It's fourth down, and we're on the two-yard line. receiver for six. And yeah, the receiver does a nice job here of fighting off the defender to get to the ball. That was a nice pitch and catch. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. 
and he converts the extra point. A 12-play, 63-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they'll get him in the backfield. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. It's second and 13. Ball on the 22-yard line. the pitch and now he's got the corner he's to the 40 and they make the stop at the 47 from their own 47 yard line first down Stop behind the line. That brings up second and 13. Two times, two times. Three down, three down. Let's go. Hey, 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 Mike. And he hits him hard at the 44 yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Out of bounds at the 46 yard line. Newton to punt. He's tackled at the 29. So the Badgers have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's at midfield. Brought down at the 48. That makes it first and 10. Oh, you got deep? Mike's 50, Mike's 50. No! He lets it fly. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up, and something good may just happen. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. He's tackled at the 40. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Less than three minutes in the game. Gets it out quickly. Good open field tackle. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. He's on the run. And now he's going to improvise. 
tackle made at the 25-yard line. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's taken down around the 17-yard line. First down. He's going to try and scramble. Scrambles again. Slides down. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. And this play is number eight on the drive. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at about the three-yard line. two-score game and they can cut that down here if they can get this one in the end zone just under two to go in the game he's taken down at the one yard line and this is the tenth play of the drive Here comes the pressure, and he's set. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Here we go, third and goal from the three-yard line. Just might do it. Intercepted. He's out of bounds. That's the four. Oh, and that is one dejected quarterback. That interception is going to seal this game. First down. This is a scary spot deep in their own territory. They'll work the left. He makes his way out to about the 25. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. They'll drop it for a loss. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield, this guy just flies all over the field. We have less than a minute to go. Davies, again. Nice run to the left there. Davies picks up five with the carry. Wisconsin's called their final timeout from their own 25-yard line. Third down. Makes it to the 34. Holmes is back to receive.
that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 21-7, Oregon. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.